<laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Should I tell them now or should I tell them after the video? Now. You should tell them now. Okay. So before we get into today's video, I have a couple announcements to make that I am so freaking excited for. And the very first one is that I have finally been working on merch and it is coming very, very soon. I've gotten a couple things in and they look so, so good. Um, I'm getting the rest of the samples in very shortly as well. But everything is made completely in the United States. I solely believe that we really need to support um, and all of our United States businesses. So all of the merch will be locally sourced. Um, so keep an eye out for that because it's coming and it'll be dropping very, very soon. The second announcement is the Nuke pre-orders. Prices are gonna be going up on November 20th. So if you wanna reserve your Nuke, hurry up, go do that. Go to beefitbeekeeping.com. <laughs> and last announcement, um, the class that I'm teaching on November 18th, uh, the classes are filling, or the, the seats are filling up very, you are distracting me. My bad, my bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> Seats are filling up very, very fast. So if you want to attend at Napoleon Bee Supply, make sure you go and reserve your seat. I'll have all the information for everything that I just said in the description below. So, all right, let's just get, up and get into the video. <laughs> are you serious? I forgot to hit record. Is it recording now? I think so. <laughs> yes, it's recording now. Oh my gosh. Okay. We didn't hit record. So let's rewind. <laughs> we do that. All right. So we just brought these out recently because we we're going to put some of our weaker hives in these apomes because the insulation helps keep them a little bit warmer through the winter time. But I don't remember there being these in them. Oh, are they like fighting over here? So my assumption is they're probably just robbing, which aren't there stores in this one? Yes, we brought, we left stores from the rob out. Okay. Well, I'm kind of afraid to open this now because I don't have a suit on. They're probably all going to come flying up at us. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. No, nah, they're just robbing. Okay, cool. Well... All right, so I wasn't planning on going through any hives today just because it is 55 degrees right now. So, which is okay to go through your hives, but this time of year, it's really pointless. Like, all it is is for peace of mind of the beekeeper to go through their hives this time of year. Um, I know all of you new beekeepers are probably like panicking at the moment and you're like, did I do everything right? Is everything in line for winter? Will they survive? I just want my bees to survive, please. Like, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I just want to check the weight of some of these hives because some of them are a little bit light so we will be needing to put on sugar pretty soon um, and I just want to see where they're at in the hive so if they're at the top of the hive on the top bars and that means that they're pretty much getting really low on food and they need sugar ASAP um, and then we also need to check some of these lids because we need to make new ones and put some new ones out because some of them are bowed from the ones I made last year and then the ones that you had made out of, um, what was that, like plywood? Uh, it's a, yeah, plywood. I made, I tried for like the- uh... Brand new foam. <laughs> Ooh, look at how white it is. We opened the box. To make them look more like the lids that we have from the pollination hives, because I like, yeah. I like oh, lid bees. So <laughs> lid bees, yeah, I know, they are great. <laughs> it's really great for uh, when we're making up like nukes for like, uh, queens and whatnot you can just shake them all in there but um but yeah so we need to replace some of them um because they're soaking up moisture and looking pretty scraggly so yeah yeah all right hey friend so how has everyone been doing lately it is crazy to me that we have already gone through another beekeeping season together I just turned 26 a couple days ago, and for once, I have really been trying to take a step back and 
truly see how far we've came together and everything this year has brought into our lives. As beekeepers, or even just as humans surviving in today's new world, we are constantly pulled from one thing to the other, never really having the time to sit back and breathe for a second. I think that is why many of us even started beekeeping, because when we're headfirst into a hive and all of the bees are just buzzing around us, it seems like time slows down and nothing else matters except for our little friends. It allows us to be present with something that is bigger than ourselves or our problems. It's the one thing that many of us have at one point raced home after work like a kid on Christmas, just so we could pop a lid and see what's happening. But there are times that beekeeping can be very demanding of us as it not only challenges us physically, but mentally too. I cannot tell you how many times I have came home after being in the bee yard and I just constantly replay what I did think and think, hey, should I have done this? Should I have done that? Did I make the right decision? Especially this time of year. So for those experiencing a little bit of late season burnout, I want you to think back to a time when beekeeping truly set your soul on fire. And you can't say you don't have a moment like that because you and I both know to be crazy enough to have a box full of thousands of little insects that can just sting you whenever they want to, you gotta have something that makes you smile. And besides, look at how far both you and I have came this year in our beekeeping. Even if this was your first year, just getting your bees to this point is a huge accomplishment. So if you're feeling a little bit of burnout as we head into the winter, take a moment to go out and appreciate these little creatures and what they have taught us this year. Because soon enough, we too will be coming out of our winter slumber fresh and renewed and ready for our next steps forward. No one's gonna wanna listen to this. Okay, like we're so low energy and like you sound very low energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um guess what guys? What? B fits a bit crabby today. <laughs> Can you see it? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can hold your head in my hands. Hey, no, <laughs> no. All right, action. <laughs> what were you saying, love? <laughs> I actually forgot. Okay, that's fine. What was I saying? Oh, no, never mind. All right, all right, guys. Hi, how are you today? Okay, <laughs> mic check. One, two, <laughs> one, two. Casey's having a little bit of a low energy day today. <laughs> she took me out for her birthday. We slept in a car. We drove all the way home. <laughs> We've been home for like a few hours and we we're making a birthday video. Did you guys know it was her birthday? Mm. Happy birthday to okay, you. Okay, you don't do Happy that. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Emily. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Anyways. <laughs> You know, I've always kind of wondered because I've became very in sync with my colonies that like you can almost feel how your colonies feel when you're going into them. Um, I don't know if it's just the way we see them buzzing or like the energy that we're feeling from them, but I've always wondered if we kind of sync up with them as well because beekeeping burnout is a real thing this time of year. Um, but don't let it get the best of you. But I've always wondered if that's just because the bees, as they start to ramp their energy levels down to start preparing for the winter so they can, they don't hibernate, but they definitely lower their energy levels so they don't use as much of the energy stores that they have. I, I have always wondered if we sync up with them and that is why we start to feel this burnout because all throughout the summer we are just ramped up and going, 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 always having to stay on top of them. But then at some point we have to breathe and take a moment to just appreciate everything as well. 
So don't be so hard on yourself. Um, trust me, the passion for beekeeping will come back like a raging fire as soon as it starts to warm up a little bit in the spring. Tr trust me, it happens every single year. So take your last moments to be with your bees before they're buttoned up for the winter time and take some time to also be with yourself. Um, so I am going to be doing a Q&A video coming up very soon. So if you guys have any questions about beekeeping, about life, about anything, literally anything, leave them in the comments and I will feature you in our next Q&A video. Um, all right, that's it for me today. Don't quit and be fit. I get stung. <laughs> well, tell me where you got right stung at. And they're winter bees. Arr. Where did it get you? Right here, right here, and right here. And I have a stinger stuck to my finger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. <laughs> okay.